Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I would really love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean what are you waiting for guys, hit that subscribe button now. Also please don't forget to press the bell icon. In 2019, the Duke of York reduced his involvement in public life. Days before the Queen died, Prince Andrew met with King Charles, who reportedly informed him that he would not be permitted to resume his royal duties. It has been said that Prince Andrew was left tearful when the then Prince Charles informed him he would never again perform royal duties. Despite the Jeffrey Epstein affair, the Duke of York apparently thinks he may still be of value as a working member of the royal family. But days before the late Queen's passing in September, Andrew's return aspirations were apparently dashed when he met with his brother Charles, who is now king, at his Burkhall estate in Scotland. Only Charles and his younger brother were reportedly present for the emotional and difficult discussions. The Mail on Sunday quoted a source as saying, Andrew was utterly blindsided. He is completely helpless. He had always thought there was a way out. It follows allegations that Andrew and the late Queen discussed a new royal role at Balmoral in August. Days before their mother passed away, he had a difficult encounter with Charles, during which the 73-year-old Prince of Wales crushed Andrew's dreams of ever rejoining the family. He's hoping the Queen can persuade Prince Charles and Prince William, who don't see a way for him to go back, a source said at the time. According to The Sun, in 2019, the 62-year-old retired from public service in the wake of his disastrous Newsnight interview regarding his affiliation with millionaire child molester Epstein. Additionally, he lost his HRH style and military positions early this year before paying millions to resolve a civil sex assault complaint Virginia Juffer, an Epstein complainant, made against him in the U.S. When Miss Juffer was 17 years old, she claimed that Andrew had sexually assaulted her. He has consistently vehemently refuted the allegations, and the payment was not the Duke's admission of guilt. It was stated earlier this year that Andrew wished to regain both his HRH designation and his position as Colonel of the Grenadier Guards. The colonelcy of the Grenadier Guards was his most desired position, and he wants it back, a source told The Telegraph. He also thinks he should be invited to royal and state ceremonies because he has continued to serve as a counselor of state. He feels that his position as a prince of the blood and HRA should be recognized and honored, and that is what matters most to him. It happened at the same time that Charles and Prince William allegedly intervened in June to prevent Andrew from making a public appearance at the Garter Day service at Street George Chapel in the grounds of Windsor Castle, one of the most colorful events in the royal calendar. A Duke spokeswoman declined to comment. So what do you think about this news, guys? Write down in the comments what you think and let me know. Until then, guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turns out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling royal updates like this, subscribe and press the bell icon. As simple as that. Thank you so much.